In this video, we'll speak about different types of progress bars that we can create in Microsoft Excel. One option is a very basic looking progress bar like this, which we have created using user form and basic controls over it. Second option could be a really nice looking progress bar, which we have created using shapes. So for the next few minutes, you'll be watching how to create such progress bars from scratch. I'll teach you how to create the basic one and the one uh, which I'm showing you right now in the demo, the red one as well as the blue one. So let us first talk about the basic one. So here uh, we need to first install uh, insert a user form and if we change the title of it, after that insert a frame and change the caption and then over that you can insert a label and by removing the caption and inserting a background color let's say to blue uh, you will make a user uh, a progress bar like structure now double click on it and make uh, changes in the user form activate event in that initially set a label one width to zero because we want uh, this progress bar to start from zero width and to reach to the maximum to maximum uh, you can first try to increase it like this and check in the properties what is the maximum width there right so here in the condition you can set w equal to 0 and then put that do until w reaches to the maximum width till that point what you want to do is you want to increment the value of width by our proportion so let's say you can increment by a factor of 1 10 20 something like that uh, it depends on the speed how would you like to uh, increase the progress bar and then in do events uh, we are putting because we want to see the changes on the screen and we want uh, uh, to add a delay also let's say for one second for that application dot wait now and delay of one second so here uh, let us now insert a, a, a sub procedure to call this user form so user form 2 dot show now we can hook this event with a button on the sheet if I add it and then assign a macro, let's say Kamal is the name of sub procedure. Now, if I click on this button, it will be calling that user form and activate event would be called automatically and will increase the width from 0 to 191. So it will treat it as a like a progress bar. Similarly, for the other progress bar, what we can do is we can insert a shape like this. We can change the background color to white and borders to blue and we and need to add another shape like this which would be the actual progress bar. Now in the sub procedure, you can add a shape, dim shape as uh, SHP as shape and in active sheet, you need to have a name of the shape, right? So in active sheet dot shapes, uh, you specifically need to add the shape name. Otherwise it would not be able to know which shape you want to modify. Again, same logic. You need to know the left top and all the coordinates, right? So what I'm doing is um, I want that my left portion of this progress bar should always start uh, from uh, a cell width, right? So what I can do is uh, let us first uh, print in a message box like act, uh, active sheet dot shapes shape one uh, dot left, right? I have put the shape on the right position. Now I'm checking what is the left coordinate right now. So by this uh, I'll be getting the left and the top coordinates. So I have the values now, right? So what I can do is now I do not need this, but I have the information. So I'll delete this line and then I'll put those in variables. So if I remove this and I create two variables, one is for left, I set the value. One is for top, I put the value like this. And then inside this, I initialize uh, the left uh, part of it. I initialize the top part of it. And then inside that, I need to increase the width of it, right? Height I keep st uh, st static. Let's say I put it as 10. And I set the width to zero initially. And uh, here I need to put a loop to increase the width uh, uh, so that it treat it like a progress bar. So do until W reaches, uh, let's say 300. So W greater than 300. And again, on the similar lines, like we created the last uh, previous progress bar, here uh, we need to set uh, w equals w plus 25 and then set the width to w right again the same logic do do events and then application dot wait uh, now uh, plus and you know you can put that interval time value 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.000001 by one second i mean right so we are done with it now let us see when we uh, when we run this uh, what will happen so make sure that you reach to the right position 
even if you do not it will take it to the right position because we have mentioned specifically that left part is this and top part is this so if we run it uh, you will see the progress bar running like this so on the similar way uh, on the similar lines you can create the progress bar for red so you see that some of the adjustments check you can do here like we have set 300 and it is moving outside now if i change it to 270 it should probably come in the range so this way you can play with the numbers so thank you for being with us keep watching uh, extreme excel for such videos thank you